The Court of Public Opinion is a part of the Amateur Radio Network. Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion, where you can express your views and you can and have are entitled to your opinion. Um, we're going to talk about radio hosting as a job and a career, um, TV hosting. Let me just tell you that most egos that are on TV that make a ton of money that have chased their audience away have pretty much gotten way too personal and before you know it members of their audience are leaving and they don't want to listen to the same repetitive conversation over and over again beat the topic up kind of thing and we're talking about it in a way that is going to hit home it, there are some people that are talented and gifted and also do their research. So I want to make sure that we have a balanced debate about this. But let's just talk about blogging and the amateur side of what we're doing. We're amateurs. We're not, we don't get paid. We don't, have, we don't push products. We don't push anything. We've asked for support because we want to be publicly supported by people who willingly want to support us. We don't expect anyone to do a thing. I don't want any money from anybody if that were the case. With that said, though, I have been around the profession. I've been around professionals in radio and music all my life. My stepdad was an oldie singer. He's retired. He's now in, an, um, he's in a, a personal care home. With that all being said in this conversation that I am having with you, I'm having it because I've been around people who have become famous, who've become very well off, and forget what it is to keep their audience entertained. Rush Limbaugh is probably about the most famous radio host because he keeps his audience coming back for more. There are people today in radio, though, that are chasing their audience members away and they're ticked off because they're listening to their radio monologue and their, or the monologue and they go, it's not, it, once the monologue is over, it goes into some totally different direction. I don't know if that's Fox News. I don't know if that's the program that, because I don't watch CNN and I don't watch Fox News and I don't have a TV. So I wouldn't know. But I'm just saying from my past experience having watch cable uh, talk shows, that's been the case. Um, there's a lot of criticism that needs to be kind of cr- softened too. Some of the criticism is pretty harsh. Okay. So... We're talking about critiquing material over criticizing them. I, I hope you know. Like, we're exploiting this topic, not the person. There are radio hosts that do not care as long as they're making money and they're bringing in more sponsors. And honestly, I'm the, I can personally say this. This is why I stayed with blogging because I didn't know how long I could handle a career like this without making any money, you know. Like you have to make a, you have to make a living. Like I don't want to be selling things just to sell them and, and lose my audience at the same time. Like if we have something to sell or create or do something, we want to be able to create things that our audience is, enjoys and likes, you know. Like, there are products that are in, on the market, that are on the alternative market, of course. Like, the the collagen, that's one of the things, to me, that's something I would sell, you know. Because I know it has real health benefits, you know. So, to me, if I was in that arena or that level of radio and I had that many listeners or I had that many people listening to my program, I would probably 
consider selling products on air as advertising because that's how radio really works. But we're not talking about that now because I don't sell anything. Again, if I ever got to that point, well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. The point is, is that there are people walking away from radio and they want news talk radio back. This is what's going on in our region of the city of Pittsburgh, and uh, I live outside of the city of Pittsburgh, but the point is, is that people want talk radio back. They want to be able to have a call-in show where people can hear from, you know, each other. What's going on in this neighborhood matters to maybe somebody on the other side of town. I don't know, but talk radio is a way of, it's the one thing that we've been able to rely on in the past, and it's a big part of what we do, okay? I'm a blogger, so it's a little bit different for me, but I want to talk about Wendy Bell for a moment. Wendy Bell has been a part of the Pittsburgh scene since I, I mean, as long as I can remember, she's been a TV host and also a radio host. So, when you see somebody who's been visibly popular and visible to, you know, the newscast getting fired and can, and you say, I don't care, well, I'm going to tell you, if she could get fired, so could you, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, she's a pretty popular face in the greater Pittsburgh region, uh, if you're familiar with WTAE TV. I said all this to tell you guys that you do not want to lose good, wholesome conversation. I'm, I know that some of you might uh, disagree with, like, the Second Amendment. But I'm going to tell you, without the conversation, without having a full-bodied conversation like our coffee, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't, it would be dishonest if we, if I told you that there are people reluctant to talking because of political correctness. So, and polit political correctness is just another way to be, to be quite honest, pompous. It's rude. Because political correctness is avoiding the real topic. It's like who controls the narrative, who's controlling the conversation. And we are discussing it because we're getting right through it and we're going to go right to the point. The thing is, is that we don't want to be the kind of people that chase away our audience. We want to keep you engaged on the most important topics that are in front of us, especially now here at the Court of Public Opinion. So I hope in the future, whatever conversations we do have, that it's about what is ahead for us and also the future of the United States of America at the Court of Public Opinion. Thank you again for listening to my blog. I know it's a long, lengthy... Everybody I talk to has been saying that they don't want to get go to certain radio shows and listen to the same old monologue and then it turns into the same old, I don't know, old, same old, same old, more or less. Um, it's very hard to get go from amateur to professional. So for any of us, we would all have to do our research, we would all have to do well at what we do, or we would be off air, you know, if I was on radio. I'm just a blogger, saying it like it is. People need to hear the truth, and they need to hear the truth now. The Court of Public Opinion is a part of the Amateur Radio Network.